what we have here is the, the uh, I find media asset management system. I find is the content management system that's at the heart of a lot of the ORAD solutions that are on the booth today. So that's from the workflow solution over, over there to the ingest to, to blend to the graphics asset management in Maestro to what we have here which is the uh, ingest and editing and workflow solution all based on iFind. So, what we, the, the first part of the chain is, is the ingest. So what we have here is the I acquire ingest manager which can allow you to do scheduled recordings for, uh, or crash recordings on channels of the OBS ingest server. We then have the, the ability to build workflows to decide what happens to the clips once they've been recorded. When, the, when we're recording the clips, the OBS creates a, a high-res and a proxy copy of the video. The, the high-res and the proxy are, are simultaneously recorded locally and also streamed onto our central storage. When they appear on the central storage, they're picked up by the iFind workflow manager and registered in the iFind database so we can see them. So to give you an idea, I'll start, I'll start a recording here. So we, we've got a recording on this, this channel of the OBS. It's queued, it's gone into record. What we have with, the, with this solution is we have the, the iFind workflow manager. We're monitoring these clips coming into the system and we can see here that there's one job which is this recording, which is sitting in this step as a growing file. We've already gone down this loop, and if I now search in the iFind web GUI, we can see that NAB Monday 10 is also the clip that we've got here. So I've got a copy on the OBS ingest server, and a copy on my central storage, which is a NAS sitting around the back here. I have the option now, now it's on the central storage, to send it to my local copy of Adobe Premiere. So if I go to my Adobe Premiere, it's imported it, it's in the bin, I can put it onto my timeline and start editing it. If I now stop the recording, the clip will go through the rest of the workflow. Once it's detected that the, the clip has stopped growing, we will check the asset, we'll create a thumbnail, we'll take the technical metadata from the clip and we'll update the database. So, that has now happened, the, it's processed through that. So if I go back to my web GUI, I can now see that I've got, I've got a thumbnail, I've got a proxy copy of the, of the clip, so I can now view it, and I can see my clip in the viewer on my web GUI. This web GUI could be anywhere in the building or outside of the, of, of the broadcast building. The other thing that we have the ability to do within the iFind web GUI is do simple cuts editing. So, so a, a journalist or somebody, could, could, or somebody could sit down, do some shot selection and create an EDL to, to work within Premiere. So if I just I'll just quickly show that. So, so we've got our clip here. The editing we call session editing. I can send my, send my clip to my session. Here is my clip in, in there. So in order to edit, we need to I need to mark some points of interest within the clip 
So I've now created, created one point of interest. I'll go through, create another one. So I can, I can work with multiple clips and multiple POIs. So if I want to put these POIs into my EDL, I'll double click on those, double click on that one. I can reorder it so it goes one before the other. So I've now got an EDL. So if I save my session and I can export it as a high res EDL. So although I'm working on a proxy copy here, I can generate a high res EDL for use in, in Premiere. So if I now go to my Premiere, I can go and import. That's the edit session I did, Monday 10. Open that, drag that onto my timeline. So I'm now editing high res the, the proxy edit that I did on my, my web GUI. When I save off that, that, that edit, so I have, we have a plugin which allows me to export and render it. So I can, I can render it with my name of NAB Monday 10. I can export that whole sequence into the MAM and we have another workflow within the MAM. That's rendering now. When that finishes rendering, we have another workflow for checking the clips coming in from the edit station. It goes through, through this workflow. And one key step we have here, we have the ability to, to match a placeholder. So if we've got a placeholder that's been created in a traffic system or been created in a, a news room system, we can match it at this point in the workflow so that we now know that this is, this is the clip that's in the rundown and we can have another workflow that then moves it through either to the playout server or to the studio where that clip's needed in the rundown for, for playout. Once it's finished, it'll step through this workflow and be registered in the, in the database. It will be a short pause whilst the clip stops growing, we have to check that. Then we move it, it's going through the workflow, media info, checking to see if it's a placeholder. I didn't save it into a placeholder, so it's gone down this route. And it's now, we now send it off to, to, for a proxy copy to be created. When the proxy copy is created, it'll then end up in the, in, in, in the database. Right, we're now watching watching the output of the, of the, the proxy encoder and that has now stepped through so I now know that the, the proxy should be available. So if I go back up here, so there we are, we've got the copy on the central store and the browse copy. And here we have the, the edit. So again, we've got a web GUI. So as soon as this clip arrives, it can be seen anywhere in the building on a standard, standard internet connection. What we can also build into the, into the workflow is we can build in notifications. So I could put in here that I want an email to go out when that asset arrives. And so the news editor of the day or the production controller of the day gets an email, they can go to their web GUI and they can view the, view the clip. So, that in summary, we've got the whole process through from the acquisition through to the, the viewing and editing of, of, of the clip through to sending it to transmission and notifying people that clips they're interested in are available for them to view. So overall, that's a, an overview of the iFind Media Asset Management System. Thank you.